Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and today we are discussing NNDM stock, specifically a recent interview with Nano Dimensions General Manager, which gives us great insight into NNDM as a company, and it can help us project the future potential of the NNDM stock price. Tomorrow we will talk about Sensionics, S-E-N-S stock, Bionanogenomics, B-N-G-O stock, and Zometica, Z-O-M stock. So if you own any any of the stocks that I just mentioned, then like this video right now, subscribe for those topics to be covered tomorrow, and let's make you some free money with Weeble. Weeble is a free brokerage app where you can buy and sell stocks, options, and cryptocurrencies. But right now, you can get two free stocks with Weeble. You can get the first free stock, which can be worth anywhere from $2 to $250 for just creating an account. And you can get a second free stock, which can be worth up to $1,600 if you invest $100 or more on your first deposit. You will have a 1 in 100 chance of getting stocks like Facebook, Star Starbucks or Snapchat, and you have a 1 in 50 chance of getting stocks like Google or Procter & Gamble. To get this offer, just press on the link in my description box down below, but do it quickly because this offer will not last forever. And without further ado, let's get into today's stories. In this interview, Nano Dimensions General Manager of EMEA, who is also NNDM's Marketing Director, will shed some light on what is in store for NNDM stock and for Nano Dimension as as a company, so get ready for a wild ride. The interviewer starts off by asking Nano Dimensions GM about how their marketing philosophy has changed this year compared to last year. The general manager of Nano Dimension states that NNDM has experienced 2020 much differently than the 3D printing industry as a whole. At the end of 2020, and even now, Nano Dimension has loads of financial backing from investors, which will allow Nano Dimension to take their 3D printing machine to the next level. The current system allows for 3D printing to operate on its own continuously 24-7 to make high-performance electronic devices, complex multi-layered circuit boards, capacitors, antennas, and even next-generation electronics. Nano Dimension's general manager definitely knows his company because in NNDM's investor presentation, Nano Dimension has laid out the evolution of their technology until 2023, which includes new versions of the 3D printing Dragonfly machines, which will come with specialty performance kits. One of these kits will be released this year, and the other will be released in 2022, along with two new machines at Stage 3, which come with more types of specialty inks and materials so more products can be produced. And lastly, we get Nano Dimension's real-time quality inspection machine in 2023. I don't really hear other investors talking about this evolution of Nano Dimensions 3D printing machines and technology, which is why you pressed the like button, you hit the bell notification, and it's why you are subscribed to my channel. Nano Dimension also has a vision for digital inventory where physical materials and parts do not have to be physically loaded and shipped out. Instead, only a simple data file has to be sent to one of Nano Dimensions machines, and that machine will produce that product in hours. Imagine you are a manufacturer who has a client that is overseas and it takes months for that client to receive the parts they ordered from you, where if they only had a Nano Dimensions machine, the data file could simply be sent to them and instantaneously the machine will start making that part right before their very eyes. This will drastically cut down on time and shipping costs. The interviewer also was interested to know how big Nano Dimension's market is and who their clients are, who mainly buys Nano Dimension products, and the GM responded by stating this. 60 of their machines have sold globally, with the main buyers of Nano Dimension's technology being aerospace companies, militaries, governments, educational institutions, Department of Defense contractors, research and development companies, aviation organizations, and and product development facilities to be used in a plethora of various ways, such as on rocket ships, satellites, and drones, with loads more. On the more commercial side, customers want Nano Dimensions technology for 5G uses, phased arrays, 
3D antenna structures and biochemical sensors. NNDM even has a large customer in Germany that wants NanoDimension to help them create electronics that are integrated into polymers. The medical field will use NanoDimension's technology extensively to create fluids with electrodes in it, and NNDM can get involved in DNA and RNA sequencing. You all know me, I love NanoDimension, especially for the role that they play in electric vehicles and the automotive industry, because NanoDimension's GM believes that NNDM can cut costs for all of these markets, including the electric vehicle industry, by eliminating steps and middlemen, because now things can be created in-house that was not always convenient or plausible for traditional manufacturers to create. To me, one of the best things about NanoDimension is their razor and blade reoccurring revenue model, which goes like this. The real money in razors are not in selling the razor itself, and you only have to sell a few razors to get reoccurring revenue, but why? The reason is because the real money is in selling the usable blades, which will need to be refilled and replaced after they are used up. This is exactly what NanoDimension has set up with their reoccurring revenue model. They have only sold 60 machines, but they will sell more, and NanoDimension will receive ongoing reoccurring revenues from these machines, because eventually those machines will use up all of their ink, and the customer will need to buy more of the specialty ink cartridges that only NNDM can supply them. The reason NanoDimension will sell many more machines is because the general manager, who is also the marketing director says that NNDM plans to start marketing and their sales in the third quarter of this year when companies have more cash flow to spare on large purchases. On top of that, NanoDimension also has no debts and loads of cash that will be used for multiple acquisitions and mergers in the United States and Europe, which is set to happen later this year because NanoDimension has already looked through 80 companies and they picked 30 of them to start negotiations with some of them. NanoDimension does not want to be a prototyping and specialty manufacturer. They want to take over mass manufacturing by storm. The general manager actually compares NanoDimension to Tesla in regards to their top-down sales approach and marketing. For investors in NNDM stock, I hope NanoDimension copies Tesla in their stock as well. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see all of you in the next YT video.